So yeah, as you can see guys, we can zoom in just nicely. Can we resize the window? Yes, we can. Get in. Oh my god, thank god that worked first time. For some reason I thought that was going to all go tits up then. Hello ladies and gents, my name's Lost, and welcome back to Don't Star Pixel Edition Part 2. So, in this episode we're going to focus on... Um, Getting the tiles, see like the terrain, you see like um, the grass in the background, like the, the pixely kind of grass stuff. You'll find this just goes through the entirety of the room. Each one is a tile as well. Uh, now, the great thing about tiles is that they don't slow the game down at all, as far as I'm uh, aware. Because graphics cards these days are quite intelligent. Well, perhaps, well, yeah, alright, we'll go with that word. We'll, we'll just say they're clever. And what they do is, if the for, I don't know, I don't know why this is the case, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, please tell me if I'm wrong, but I believe that they will not draw the tile if it is not in the view, if it is not on the screen. So, in theory, you can have as many tiles as you want in the room, and it shouldn't affect your game speed at all. Um, as far as I'm aware, please let me know if that is not the case. And we're also uh, going to do camera controls like this so that we can zoom right in, right out, and all that good stuff. So yeah, with that being said, let's get started. So, the first thing we need to do is we're going to create an object called um, Object Tile Placement. And this is going to be our terrain generator. Uh, I've called it Tile Placement because it's just going to help me remember. Like We're going to generate like the forests and stuff in like, a different object, but for right now... This is object tile generator. So we need a create event. Uh, and in here, I'm just going to call it uh, tile of the map. So we need we need to create um, a global ground layer. So what we're doing here is this is just uh, a global variable called ground layer. And this variable is going to equal uh, layer create. And the depth will be minus one. So, you we now have a new layer. So, in, in the room, like these layers, we've created these manually. We're creating one through code, and it's a tile layer. Or it will be in a moment. So, if you see this one, the depth is zero. The, de the depth of the tile will be minus one, but I think tiles are always beneath everything anyway, so I don't think that matters too much. Again, <laughs> I could be wrong. I don't know. That's just the way I'm going about it. So... And the reason, uh, sorry, I shouldn't, I shouldn't just say oh, this, I'm doing this because it will. Um, so I'm doing it because I've tested this previously and I know it works. That's why we're doing it. So let's go with global dot uh, ground tile map grass. So here we're going to, this is just a variable, again, a global variable. And we're creating, we're going to create a tile map. So let's go layer uh, tile map create. And now let's just make this a little bit bigger because this might get uh, a bit frustrating. So. First of all, we need to specify, as you can see down here, the layer ID, which we know is uh, global ground layer. Um, we need to specify the X, which is, this is where it starts. This is where the tile map starts. And if we do 0, 0, it means the very top left of the room. We need to specify TI grass, that's the tile set we're going to use. We need to say how far to the right the tile map will extend, and in, a, in this case it's room width, like that and also a room height as well. So it's the entirety of the room we're doing this for. Now I'm gonna, about, I'm about to create a, a for loop. Um, now, to do this more efficiently than the way I'm gonna do it is, you may want to look into like nested loops. Um, I ju I've always preferred to do it this way. I don't know why, I know it's not as good. I know it isn't as good, um, but I'm kind of stuck in my ways a little bit and I shouldn't be, but <laughs> I don't know, I just like to do it this way. So let, I'll explain what's happening in this cell. Let me just write this out. So, okay. For those that don't know what for loop is, we're just creating a variable called i, and i is going to start off as zero. Now, while i is below eighty one, i will plus one. Okay, that's all that means. And the reason it's eighty one is because that's how many tiles need to be to the right and then all the way to the bottom. I think it's something like that. In, in the test that I've done, this is the number that you want. Uh, I'm not sure I remember the math specifically, but this is how we're going to do it. It's about 80 tiles wide and 80 tiles long, I think. So, first thing we need to do is we need 
to create a variable called run data. Run data uh, is going to be I random range between one and eight. And the reason it's between one and eight is because that's how many tiles are in our tile set. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can't have zero. Zero has to be blank as far as, as, far as I'm aware. So don't worry about zero. So one to eight, like that. Uh, and then we're going to say if floor y uh, is zero. So floor y is going to be, so think of this i that, that we're doing the, this for loop. It's going to be like rows and columns. The floor y is going to be a column. Is a new a new row? Yeah. The, the floor y is going to be a new row. So the first row is zero. And we're just going to say if floor y is zero, then tile map set at pixel uh, global dot ground tile map grass. So we have to specify the tile map. Then the tile data, that's just um, the number which tile you want between one and eight. So in our case, we just say ran randomize data. And we're going to do it. And the X and Y just got to be zero, zero, because that's where we start. Okay, like that. And then we'll say if i equals zero, uh, then tile map set, oops, set at pixel, uh, and then we'll go global dot ground uh, tile map grass again, ran data. And this time, we have to do this. So we have to go 0 again, because i is 0, so it has to be on the very first row. But the y, because each tile is 90, it's like um, it's 90 pixels high. So we have to go 90 times floor y. OK. And that will then, so if floor y is uh, one, then then um, it will just be on the first row. Floor wise two, it'll be the second row. If it's three, it'll be the third row, etc. And then we'll say else. So if um, if so else, if 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 i is bigger than zero, we need to just do this again. Uh, so let's just. Get it up to this point here. And then the x wants to be 160 times i because um, each tile is 160 pixels wide. And also 90 times floor y. Now, what I will say is that I'm going to make this for statement better in the future. But for now, this is just how what we're going to go with. Just because I wanted to get things off the ground and I didn't want to... You know, make everything real crazy and long, and I don't know, spend forever, <laughs> you know, talking about it. So, we're going to say if i is 80, so if we get to one number before 81, then we're going to say i actually equals minus one, so that it starts the loop again. And we're going to say floor y plus equals one, so that um, it will start adding this to like um, the next layers. Okay, so keep going down. But, but ladies and gents, we're going to say if floor y is 80, then we'll just say i equals 85, I don't know, whatever. Just so that i, so that 85 is bigger than 81, so then it'll stop, it won't do anymore. Now, the, <laughs> this isn't the greatest way of doing it, but this is how we're going to do it. Um, so next up, we now need to create an object called object control. So let's do that. And this is going to be the, just the camera controls for now. In fact, you know what? Let's place this inside the world on instances, I guess. Yeah, whatever. We'll place this inside the world and then we'll just make sure it's working before we get onto the camera bit. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, that worked really well. The character is a little bit slow, but you know what? It doesn't matter for now. We can fix that later on. Uh, but yeah, so far it's working, and now we're going to sort the camera out so we can zoom in and we can make the room 
like make the window bigger. Okay, so let's do that now. So as I said, first we need a new object. Uh, we'll call it object control. So a couple of things in the create event. Um, let's make it bigger. I just typically call this bars. Uh, so first of all, we're going to say GPU set text filter. Uh, it's false. So this, if you remember in Game Maker One, you could set interpolation off in the menu. I don't think you can do that in Game Maker Two, but this code does that. That sets interpolation as zero uh, as false, so that um, it's just better to do pixel art this way because it it stops thing it stops like anti-aliasing and like blaring and stuff like that. So the room speed is going to be 60. The view X, uh, this is going to be for the camera. It's going to be camera, uh, get view X. And then we'll just say view camera zero, like that. Same for the Y. Except obviously, oops, view Y. Uh, what am I doing? There we go. Um, we need size width. And that's going to equal 640. This is going to be how big the window is in size. I think this. No, it's not. This is going to be the zoom level. This is how far we're going to be zoomed in. So 360. We need a window size width, and we're going to start it as 1280, and we'll get window size height, and we'll start that as 720. So it's like HD level, yeah. So window set size, and then we'll just go window size uh, W, and window size H. And the only reason I could just write 1280 and then have a 720, but I want to be able to copy and paste this later on when we have to use it. And also we need to do this. We need to say var monitor size uh, width equals display get width because we want to make sure that we, we don't make the window bigger than someone's monitor is because that. <laughs> You know, that, that probably... I don't know. I don't think it'd work. <laughs> so, yeah, let's display get height as well. And then we will say window uh, set position. Oops. And the way that you get the window to be in the center is you have to say, right, so monitor uh, size width divide 2 minus the window size uh, width divide 2 and then you just got to do the same for the height so monitor wait what am I doing mon monitor size height divide 2 minus the window size height divide 2 so that gives us a basis to make sure that when we resize the window it's always centered so yeah there we go right so next stuff we need a step event I guess we'll just call this main in here. And we're gonna just make sure that the script camera controls is always running. So let's create script camera controls. So script camera controls. So first of all, let's make sure that the view X, in fact, we can just copy and paste this, can't we, from here? So Let's make sure this is always being set first. Okay. And now we're going to say if uh, mouse wheel down. So if, if we're scrolling the mouse down, then we need to zoom out, I guess. So we'll say if uh, size width is lower than 960, then size width plus equals 32, and size height plus equals 16, uh, 18 sorry and the reason it's 32 by 18 is because that's that that will maintain the 16 by 9 ratio if, if you want to if you want to learn more about that I'm going to link you to a camera controls video that I did um, that will go a bit more in depth because I'm going to be here all day otherwise this episode will go on forever if I have to explain this really in depth but I'll link to you my video where I do explain it properly so just say if mouse wheel up so that uh, I guess we're zooming in now uh, if size uh, width bigger than 320 and then you can 
Oh, actually, 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 hold on, hold on. I missed a little bit here. We have to say camera, set view size, uh, view camera zero. And we need to say uh, size width, and size height as well. And then just copy this, paste it underneath. But this time we need to say set view border. The border is... Um, the player, like the border is like the border around the player because obviously we're setting the camera to follow the player. So this sets the border size, which needs to be the same as the actual size. Uh, and then you can just go ahead and copy this and paste all of that into here, but make this uh, minus this time. So yeah, there we go. Right, next up then, let's make the monitor bigger. We need to, we're gonna check for a variety of uh, resolutions here. I'm going to do a couple because there's I've, I've specified quite a few. Then I'm going to skip ahead, but I'm going to let you look at them um, because there's too many to go through. Really, it's like it'll just it's unnecessary and it'll take a while. So if we press the add button, we need to make sure that the the window gets bigger. Now this would work really well in a, a settings menu, but maybe that'll come later on if we get that far. I'm not sure. But now we're just going to do it through code uh, through the keyboard. I mean. So let's get the monitor size again, uh, and we'll do that for the height as well. In fact, you know what we should have done? You know what I should have done, and I didn't? So if we go back to object control, oh no, yes I did. Sorry, yes I did, never mind. I was, I was about to say, this, these should be bars, and I'm not sure I did that, but I did. So, let's get the size again, and then we'll just say if uh, window size equals 640, so we know this is as small as it can be. This is as small as the window can be. Uh, wait, this window size width. If it's equal to 640, because that's the smallest size, then we'll just say uh, window size width equals 768. And the window size height equals uh, 432. So that'll just resize it. And then just underneath that, you just want to say window set size uh, window size oh I've done that wrong window there we go and then it wants to be window size uh, w by window size height like that uh, and then I'm just gonna do this for all of them so I'll do one more just as, as an example and I'm gonna skip ahead because Honestly, guys, I'm going to be here all day if I have to do it for every single one. <laughs> so 768. So that means it's the next one because obviously we set it here. If we press the add button, we set the size to this. So then we're going to check for this one. So if it's this one, then we'll set it up again to, I guess, 896 by 504. And I know these look like weird resolutions, but I'm just doing all of the resolutions that are perfectly divisible by 8. I've just chosen to do it that way. Anyway, I'm going to skip ahead. And yeah, I'll be back in a moment with the complete list of resolutions that we can zoom into. Right, and there we go, guys. There's all the resolutions that I want to do. Uh, and then at the bottom of that, you're just going to say window set position. And if you remember what we did in the create event, then we're just doing it again here. Uh, so we now need to do the exact same thing, but for the to like zoom out instead of in. So obviously here we're zooming in. And uh, not zooming in, sorry. Making the window bigger. Now we see the same thing, but make the window smaller. So I'm going to just do it once more. Just this first bit. And then I'm going to copy and paste the rest in because, yeah, it's going to take too long. But yeah, if you need to pause it, guys, then there it is. There's like the list of the ones we haven't done. So yeah, feel free to do that. Uh, and I'm just going to say, else if keyboard is uh, the subtract key. So, we kind of need to say now, uh, if the window size is 768, then change it back to 640 by 360. Uh, and below that, we then need to say, you know, well, if the other window size is 896, then change it back to 760, 768 by 423. See, it's just like the same, but in reverse, so that yeah, it just makes the window smaller again. So I'm just going to skip ahead here, guys, and yeah, you can just follow along. So yeah, as you can see, guys, um, 
we now have all of the camera controls in place. Feel free to just pause this and, you know, uh, add this to your code so that we're all on the same level. Um, and now if we go back into the world, I'm just going to put the... Uh, what am I doing? What do I want to do? <laughs> what am I trying to do? Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to put the object control in here. And yeah, let's make sure it's working. So yeah, as you can see guys, we can zoom in just nicely. Can we resize the window? Yes, we can. Get in. Oh my god, thank god that worked first time. For some reason I thought that was going to all go tits up then. But no, that's worked really well. Um, and yeah, we can move and stuff. Oh, D sends us to the left and A sends us to the left. So what is happening there? In fact, they all send us up to the top left. What? <laughs> okay, let's fix that. Right then guys, so in order to fix it, what you have to do is, in this travel X bit, just put X plus, and on, on the travel Y, put Y plus, and the reason it was breaking there was because if we're setting the X to either be minus 20 and 20, and like the Y to be minus 20 or 20, that's pretty much always going to be in the top left of the screen, where what we should be saying is we should be saying X plus travel X, and Y plus travel Y. So yeah, now let's check it. So yeah, there we go, now it works. Um, feel free to change like the uh, speed, the my speed value if you want to something that's a bit faster or slower, like you guys can just play with that. But yeah, thank you very much for watching guys, and I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, Lost here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you're new and want more content like this, and please give me your thoughts down below in the comments. Catch you guys later.